Um, our session focused on um, understanding the use of government systems for monitoring and evaluating investments in climate change adaptation. So this sort of session focused specifically on, the, on why government systems should be promoted and we outlined that one of the important areas is that it, in this understanding is that adaptation is now moving into implementation and for a lot of governments they are very keen to understand um, how best to shape investments in adaptation and how best to track investment into adaptation given that there are limited resources. So this session was sort of focusing more on the use of government systems and trying to identify ways to strengthen the use of government systems. We basically focused on two questions during the session. One was to identify what types of government MNE systems are being used to track investment in climate change. And the second question was looking more at trying to understand the opportunities and the challenges when it comes to using government systems for m and &E. So within both, of thing, both these, I think we had quite an interesting discussion of the range of options that are being used and the opportunities and challenges that they provide. That's not something we focused on, so it was more about sort of trying to identify solutions to promote government systems. So in terms of sort of trying to develop a shared understanding or of, of the different types of systems that are being used, I think we sort of narrowed it down or categorized it into um, sort of governments using project-based MNE to track investment in climate change. There are a range of governments which have started using regular development planning um, m &E systems, which include the sort of planning from the planning departments, the m &E frameworks that are proposed, and also m &E systems used by, uh, in the context of development finance. So things like integrated budget, budget and expenditure reviews, which track flows of finance and how effective they, they've been. And the third one that we categorized was Sort of a sort of a hybrid model of uh, climate change specific MNE frameworks that are being developed by countries like Kenya and Ethiopia, and sort of the use of these different frameworks. And we then sort of try to look at the opportunities and challenges that that governments face when using these frameworks. So that was an interesting discussion as well. In terms of challenges, I think the main ones related to the lack of data to feed in to monitoring and evaluation systems. And secondly, the difficulty in coordinating between indicators that come out from different frameworks or indicators at different scales of planning. How best these can sort of be used holistically. And in terms of opportunities, I think some very important opportunities were identified on why government systems should be used. And the first one, I think, is by using government m &E systems, you actually integrate adaptation investment plans into development planning systems, which then links um, investments to actual financing. So basically, they can start drawing down on public budgets and or budget, uh, budgets from international funds or bilateral funds. So that I think was a very big opportunity that was identified by using m and &E systems. So for example, one of the suggestions was that to develop um, sort of a more coordinated approach to indicators, there was a suggestion that there should be more sort of shared learning dialogues between different actors who are developing indicators so that there's a common understanding of the indicators that are coming out and how best to sort of um, put them all into a single basket.